Treasure Trove family. Got a little rendition of Dumpster Diamonds for you here. We got uh, one and dose. Let's go through them. I hope everyone's having a great day. Um, feeling a little weird earlier today. Not feeling very good. A little down. You know, you get those days. But I'm feeling better now. I went on a run and I got my beer here. And I'm gonna go through this trash with you and y'all are gonna enjoy it. So relax, enjoy yourselves, and let's get to it. <clears throat> All right. So I always grab a box from the dumpsters because I keep it in my car uh, all day because I go in the mornings and sometimes it's just filled really nasty like. So I keep it in the, in the box so my car doesn't get all super dirty. But let's get into it here. Oh, I gotta adjust my camera so you can look down more. There we go. All right, this is extremely heavy. Oh, I don't hear any batteries. Oh, wait, you hear that? Yeah, some good batteries right there. Let's get into it. And boom, right off the case, I see tons of Wii cases. I am so stoked already. Oh, oh yeah, let's get into it. Okay, here we go. I spy spooky mansion. Nothing, but we got the manual, which is always cool. Monster High, all right. Manual, no game, Power Pros. All right, it's already a good day. Already, already great. Oh, this is probably why it was heavy too. A bunch of Far Cry 5 display boxes. You know, they say that uh, you could defeat this game in 10 minutes, Far Cry 5. What they said is that when I haven't played it, but I read about it. Uh, spoiler alert, I'm gonna spoil alert Far Cry 5. Stop watching if you don't want the spoiler alert of Far, Far Cry 5. I guess in Far Cry 5, if you um, wait in the very beginning for 10 minutes for that guy to return, the game will end and you'll win the game. Just like that. A little Easter egg spoiler. Game party. I think they did it in Far Cry 4. I haven't played the Far Cry series, so I don't know. Just dance. Man, I don't feel like I'm going to get a game because none of them cases, but never say never. So let's get into the rest of this here. All right. Got to always bend these. Nope. Oh, Halo 3. This feels heavy. And Halo 3 is in here. I bet because I looked at this. And I should be more excited, but I've got, I found a couple of these already. I've got like four copies of the Halo 3. And it's because, um, like GameStop will give you five cents for it, you know? But, yeah. Anyway, let's, let's pop it open. Let's see. Is it playable? Uh, could be. Yeah, I, I think, I bet this would play. I really bet this would play. Why is it so deep? I feel like there's more. I haven't played Halo 3 in so long. I feel like there should be. Oh, here's another game. Madden 12 for the Xbox 360. This looks good enough. I'll take that one. All right. Oh, I've got something weird here. Oh, Nino Kuni Revenant Kingdom Lofty. Oh, it's like a keychain? No way. Oh, this is BA. BA stands for badass. <gasps> Lofty Evans Mighty Kingmaker. Oh, there's three of them. All right, it, little keychains. I'm totally gonna use these. That's super cool, I like that. Oh man, you know what? Never say never, I just got some awesome loot. Save Mother Earth, Monster. I used to drink Monsters back in the day, hardcore. It's like a new bottle of water. I'm gonna water the plants with that and save the rest of it. Oh, here's a battery. Oh, it's really sticky, so I'm not going to keep it. Gift cards, gift cards. This had $7.06 on it. Gift cards. Batteries, sticky. Oh, it's sticky down here at the bottom. Save Mother Earth. I wonder what's down here that's making this so sticky. Save Mother Earth. We got a pack of styluses that are empty. Here we go. Nothing. All right. Uh, Halo 5 Xbox One exclusive. This is cool. This is the uh, cover art for Halo 5 Guardians, which, you know, I played and I just wasn't a fan of it. You know, I tried. 
I tried to like it. I played the, the ton out of it. You know, I beat the game. And it just wasn't as fun as Halo 2 was back in the day. Probably because playing Halo 2 back in the day on the original Xbox, like, you had more time. Sticky. don't want to keep the sticky ones. Looks like there was, like, a headphones or a control... Headphone. Little headphone thing. So I'm just touching nasty, gross stuff. But I remember Halo 2 back in the day. So much fun to play Halo 2. And Halo 3 was a lot of fun as well. But something about Halo 2... Uh, playing with the homeboys and the friends just made it so much fun. Well, Halo 5, it just, it wasn't. It lost its thing. It started to act more like Call of Duty, I feel. You know, comment down below what you feel of the Halo 3, uh, 2 and 3 versus 5. And, like, I just felt like 5 acted like Call of Duty. It wanted to be a Call of Duty, and it wasn't. So, we got another lighter bag right here. You can hear the batteries. I'm getting thirsty from all my talking. Mmm. Yeah, I'm using my new koozie. Look at that face. It is scary. Bungie. Remember, 75 cents at the Goodwill. Oh, man. And if you haven't checked out your local Toys R Us, go for it because they're going out of business. I went to the one. I got a bunch around me. So I went to one with the wifey. And this store was literally bare bones to the wall. 60% off PlayStation 4 and Xbox One games. 40% off all Nintendo things. And I went to the video game section and there was tons of PS4 and Xbox One games still, like crap ones. I picked up Halo Wars 2, which was cool. But I was like, where's all your Nintendo stuff? And the guy's like, oh, we sold all that. I'm like, what about systems? And he said, all the systems have been shipped to a different store. So what I did is I went to another store. I went today, actually, to a different Toys R Us closer to home in the middle of my work day and I walk in and it, there's there's stuff everywhere. Just it's filled to the brim with merchandise and it was 5% off systems, 10% off games, 10% off mostly everything else. So it's like they shipped all the stuff to other stores. So I just got to keep an eye on it because I really want to go in and just rake up on some stuff, you know, but 10% off games when GameStop gives you 20% makes no sense. So anyway, not GameStop. Best Buy gives you 20% off brand new games. Anyway, let's get into this. Oh, it looks like it's a double bag. Two bags in one. Here we go. This bag, I don't know if I'm going to go through. Because it looks like it's just filled with food. Oh, this is gross. Well, not gross. What do you expect? You're going through trash. This is just full of food. Well, at least they put all the food in one bag instead of throwing it with all the good stuff. And here's here's the, the rest of it. So, Sea of Thieves, display box only. That's pretty sweet, though. You know, I haven't played it. I probably won't, but they say this is not a $60 game release. I mean, you tell me what you guys think of Sea of Thieves if you've played it. So, what's this? Is this a Wii? thing no it is it's a, a strap for a Wii remote right it, it straps in here and then you got this to cinch it up and you, you go like this I'll keep this that's cool I got a bunch of Wii remotes let's see what else is in here Ooh, ooh! look at this mystery satchel we're gonna wait just a minute let's go through the rest of this and we'll get to this mystery satchel in a minute that is exciting mystery satchel Batteries. I'll keep this one because it's not sticky, which is cool. And that's it. All right, here we go. We got the mystery satchel. It says Tiny Barbarian DX. No way, it's a Tiny Barbarian thing. Why would they? It's another keychain. Oh, that's so cool. I don't have Tiny Barbarian for the Nintendo Switch. Oh, you guys. Terrible lighting. I'm sorry. Let me see if I can redo this. There we go. Tiny Barbarian. Look at that. It's like a... Is the bee riding him? Or is he riding the bee? And it's a keychain thing. That's really cool. You know, I, I was disappointed when the Switch, you know, uh, uh, physical copies are coming out. I mean, I love my Switch. Don't get me wrong. But you know, they don't come with a manual. I've, I've complained about this on this channel before. They do not come with a manual. But some of the games come with a bunch of cool little things like this, you know? 
Like I purchased the other day, the Human Fall Flat, and it comes with a bunch of extra goodies, you know, art, cards, sometimes signed by the developers or whatever, but Tiny Barbarian, I, I do know that they came with a bunch of extra stuff. So this is cool. A little my little Tiny Barbarian satchel. Boop. Boop, now if I buy the game used, I, I have somewhat of a complete thing. Anyway, let's recap for the night. This is awesome. Uh, we got, looks like we got a Halo 5 sleeve we're gonna keep. We got a Madden 12 for the Xbox 360 with Halo 3 for the Xbox 360. That is pretty sweet. A couple of Wii cases right here. Uh, no games, no games. That's okay though, cause that's still awesome. Saving some Mother Earth. We got Tiny Barbarian, we got a battery, a Wii remote strap, and this is really cool. Three, Nino Kuni 2, Revenant Kingdom. Not for sale, but they're new. I bet it came with some special edition or something, you know? But why are they here like this? But this is still cool. You put this on your keychain. I've got tons of keys, you know? Keys for different cars and garages and mailboxes and work and man. Anyway, they like passwords, so just keep sprouting. Anyway, I appreciate you guys checking me out tonight. I really, really love it. Thank you to all the people giving me likes, giving me comments, and subscribing to my channel. I'm growing, slowly, but growing. I'd appreciate it. More comments, more likes, more subscribes. Hey, I will catch you guys later at another rendition of GameStop Dumpster Diving. Peace out. Be safe.